Hello everyone, welcome to my watercolor painting channel and today we are going to practice painting a watercolor flower called hibiscus. For this painting I am using watercolor painting set from Winston Newton, uh, arches, cold pressed paper, 300 GSM and brushes of several sizes. I've used size number 6, 2, 0 and 0. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that I have a Patreon where I upload watercolor tutorial lessons weekly. Join me and become my student. I'm starting doing my first layer and for this I'm using brush size number 6 and color uh, called cadmium orange. On my palette I'm using a very very watery mixture of that color and I am gently covering all the areas on these flowers and I'm doing uh, all the edges very carefully and I am leaving the stamen in the middle um, untouched. You can start in a different way where you uh, wet with your brush all the petals individually and only after implement some colors but I've decided to do it uh, in, in, in a different way where I'm just using quite a generous amount of water with light color and I'm doing this my first layer and um, by doing so I will be adding uh, more and more color once the, all the petals are covered so you will see um, how I'm gonna do this. So in this tutorial um, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can use charging technique for um, painting watercolor flowers and what is charging? Well it's simply a wet on wet technique where you drop one wet color into another wet color and you just watch it bleed and then you fix it with uh, your brush by lifting the pigment or using other tools or techniques. This technique is very effective for blending colors seamlessly so colors mix and merge without borders. This technique is also great uh, because it adds a lot of interest by simply dropping unexpected colors and sometimes they are not seen for example on your reference picture but you can still see that you know some colors can be uh, working together really well and you are placing them together and it lifts some other colors and creates a nice color combination and contrast so our flower now is uh, quite wet and I'm using the same uh, mixture of water and cadmium orange, just more concentrated mixture and with my brush size number 6 I am uh, distributing this color um, uh, through my flower and I'm adding mostly this color to the uh, middle of my flower and to the shady area and to some areas of the on the edges uh, of each petal and then I am going to be lifting the pigment and uh, removing this extra paint and extra water from it. So how to perform lifting the pigment technique? You simply water your brush in your water jar and then you uh, dry it against tissue and then with full body of the brush you pull in the pigment out or towards you and it creates a lighter line after the brush and uh, there you are, that's lifting the pigment technique. I've premixed new color combination using light red and permanent rose and this combination I'm going to be using for charging as well so while our flower is still very wet I will be just dropping this color combination on edges of our petals and also in a shady area where two petals are overlapping you can see me using brush size number zero. I am adding those bleeds uh, using my color combination of light red and permanent rose. And I'm applying it gently to the sides, to the edges of the flower or where they overlapping. And I'm just allowing it to bleed really 
bleed into my orange color and uh, later I will fix uh, the colors with my lifting the pigment technique but for now I'm just allow uh, allowing it to uh, mix with these colors. <laughs> Essentially with uh, charging, if you just have a very wet surface and you apply different colors to mix them together and if you leave them, they will dry out and wood color will be lighter uh, and it will be seamless. But with doing this lifting the pigment technique, I am sort of highlighting the lighter parts and highlights on the flower. And also when I'm not satisfied how the bleeds are bleeding in, into each other, I can just fix it with my wet brush. I'm mixing cadmium yellow mixed with uh, cadmium pale orange together to get my new combination and I'm going to be applying it to the center of the flower. So I need quite concentrated color and I'm still using it on wet flower. As you can see the ble bleeds are growing, that means it's, it's still quite wet. So I'm just dropping this paint in the center of my flower and in some areas on the petal. And then I allow in uh, those lines that I've done before to completely dry out and then I'm swapping to my extra thin brush size 00, zero. it's very thin and I'm using the combination of uh, colors of permanent rose mixed with a little bit of uh, purple lake and I am applying this color uh, to the uh, some parts of the petals and uh, some of the areas on the petal on the edges as well so as you can see it's like a reddish combination of colors and I'm, I'm making those tiny brush strokes uh, all the way through the petal but I'm, I tend to use more of this color more saturated color um, on the uh, some of the edges and towards the center of my hibiscus. And then using the same brush size 00, zero I'm still using Purple Lake and I am adding up those uh, vertical brush strokes as well 
are going from the center of the flower and I'm turning my painting uh, so it will be easier for me to do those nice and clear brush strokes. As you can see I am using my uh, thin brush size 00 and the same combination is just uh, more saturated in colors using uh, Cadmium pale orange mixed with permanent rose and I'm uh, doing my sort of veins on the flower petals and I'm applying darker brush strokes and darker veins in a shadowy area like here you can see that I'm using a bit uh, concentrated in permanent rose uh, pigment color and I'm using less on the highlighted areas as you can see on the uh, uh, right uh, the, 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 the area is much lighter so is my veins they hardly seem and then in that area I'm just uh, using only a purple lake and I'm just uh, painting um, the lines for um, for shadows so separating the petals one from another and I'm also placing some purple like under the pestil uh, because it's sort of casting the shadow on the petal so I'm not uh, um, shy to use these pigments a lot here and I'm just adding more and more color and as you can squint your eyes you will see that it's quite dark in the middle and then towards on some petals is quite light so tonal values are great here and um, it's really working out how I wanted it to be this is it I think my painting is now complete I'm very pleased with the result and I like the tonal values on this uh, painting and the color combinations as well I hope you enjoyed watching it please share your results with me if you have any I'm always welcome to uh, see them uh, so uh, just send me a message or write me through patreon or YouTube Join me on Patreon to watch full tutorial and have a full access to my growing library with watercolor lessons which I add to my channel weekly. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below, subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye!